So here we have 13.3 scalar multiplication of a matrix. Scalar multiplication is pretty easy because all you do is take a real number and multiply it by your matrix. What that turns out to become is just that number times every single term in the matrix, okay? So the first thing you have to do is select the same shape. Now, just real quick, because I don't think there's a topic specifically on dimensions of or shape of a matrix, you always have to do the um, number of rows by the number of columns, okay? So basically count how many rows you have. These are the rows. And then columns are like pillars, right? When your house, when you have pillars outside or inside your house. So these are the pillars. Those are called columns. And then these are the rows. So I always identify columns first just because those I know go up and down like a pillar. That's a column. And then the other direction, which is horizontal, those have to be the rows. Okay. And so when I look at this, when you're counting, it's a little bit weird because we know that the columns go up and down. But when you're counting how many rows you have, you have one row, two rows, three rows, right? So you're counting downward even though the rows go across. I know it's a little weird, okay? So I have one, two, three rows. And for the columns, you're going to count across because that's how you figure out how many columns you have. So I have one column, two columns, three columns. So one, two, three. So this one happens to be a three by three dimensional matrix, okay? This is going to be important later because we are gonna have another kind of multiplication later. And you definitely need to know the shape or the dimensions. Okay, so we definitely need to figure out dimensions and dimensions is always the number of rows by the number of columns this is not times so this is a three by three matrix and when you multiply by a scalar a number, just a regular number it doesn't change the shape or the dimension of the matrix so 3d will also be a three by three matrix so when I go into Alex, I will have to select the matrix that has the three rows and the three columns. And then it's just a matter of putting in the numbers for each row or for each entry. So I'm going to take three times the matrix D means every single one of these numbers has to get multiplied by three. So the results are negative 18, negative 3, positive 18, negative 12, negative 9, 3, 9, 6, and negative 21. And that's the answer. You just select it and type everything in.